welcome to the class of uh, Vedic Maths. Vedic Maths uh, was used from ancient times as a way of uh, faster calculation method. Formulas uh, of Vedic Maths are originally contained in Athar Veda, one of the four Vedas originally written in Sanskrit language, which is an Indian uh, ancient text. And from that uh, text itself, uh, there is a method called Nikhilam method, which is basically a method of multiplication. So in this class, uh, I'll be talking about multiplication by Nikhilam method. And with the help of this uh, Nikhilam method, we'll be uh, learning how to multiply these like 92 into 98, 92 into 108, 108 into 112, 994 into 996. These complicated calculation in just seconds. And we'll also be able to, uh, we'll be able to square of 98, 998, 998, something. Uh, this kind of numbers in just seconds. So uh, on the right side of this uh, blackboard, I've written some of the very basic points that we have to remember every time once we are using this method. This uh, Nikhilam method or also called a base method because this method is convenient to multiply two such numbers. Both of them are closer to a base that is 100, 1000, 10,000 etc. So in this uh, very first class I have taken the multiplication of such numbers which are closer to a base 100 and less than 100. So let's start uh, with the first example. The first example is 92 into 98. So as I've said that the these methods are conveniently applied to a number which are closer to a base. So first of all we have to find out we have to find out the base to which uh, the numbers are uh, closer to. So here we see that both these numbers are closer to a base that is 100. So the base is 100. The next thing what we will do is to find out that the first number 92 is how much less than its base that is 100. So if we see 92 is how much less than 100. So it is 8 less than 100. And 98 is how much less than 100? 98 is 2 less than 100. Okay, once we have done it, we can directly write down the answer. After doing this, the answer, while writing down this answer, answer will uh, have two parts. In the first part, we will write the difference of 92 and 2, or the difference of 98 and 8. So in either case it is 90. This is the first part and the second part which has to be uh, written in continuation of the first part will be the multiplication of these two that is 8 into 2 that is 16. And the first and second part combined together will give the whole answer. So 9016 is the multiplication of 92 into 98. The only thing that we have to check before finalizing the answer is to the number of digits of the second part. I have written in the point number two. Answers are written in two parts as we have seen. First and second. Part two must contain as many digits as the number of zeros in the base. For two, digit, uh, two dig digits for 100 base. So if the base is 100, that means if the numbers are closer to 100, second part must contain two digits, which is it already containing. So this is the final answer. Okay, let's uh, move towards the next question. That is 94 into 96. Again here, the base is 100, as was in the earlier case. Now the next thing is 94. The first number is how much it is less than 100. That is... 696 is how much less than 100 that is 4 once you have done it you can write down the answer the first part will be the difference of either this or this 
the difference of 94 and 4 or 96 and 6 it is 90 this is the first part the second part will be the multiplication of these two 6 into 4 that is 24 that is the second part so now we have to check whether the second part contains two digit yes it contains so that is the final answer the final answer is 9024 that's very simple let's move towards the third example again the base for this calculation is 100 I'm writing down here now 98 is how much less than 100 2 99 is how much less than 100 that is 1 so we can write down the answer the answer will be in two parts in the first part the difference of 98 and 1 or 99 and 2 that is 97 that is the first part second part will be the multiplication of 2 and 1 that is 2 but part 2 contains one digit but it has to contain two digits if number of digits in part 2 are less than the mentioned above put zeros before it to make it equal since it is containing one digit we have to put one zero before it to make it equal that is two digits so it become nine seven zero two that is the answer uh, the uh, next uh, last example 97 into 98 again the base for this is 100 97 is how much less than 100 that is 3 98 is 2 less than 100 again the answer can be written as the first part as the difference of this or this that is 97 and 2 that is 95 that is the first part and the second part is the multiplication of these two 3 into 2 that is 6 that is the second part since second part is not containing two digit it, it has to contain so we have to put 0 before it so the final answer that is 9506 that is the answer that we have seen so as we see that this is a very simple method and we need not to do all these things whether you are calculating it once you practice it you can write the answer directly so we'll see other type of example in the next class